What's going on, everybody? Just a Bishop Brad coming to y'all on the Pepper Chamber of Love. But I'm coming to y'all from the Pepper Garden Love. It's my day off, man. I'm relaxing out here, home by myself. Figured I'd bring some sauces out here and just bust out some videos of love. Today I'm coming to you on one of my favorite companies out there, Evil Seed Sauce Company. And uh, y'all may know this, y'all may have seen pictures of, the, of this, the Circa de Nord. And I'm probably not pronouncing that properly at all. I can't pronounce crap. I can't even pronounce my own damn fucking name. Excuse my French. It says, Incredible Freak Show of Flavor. And uh, it says, Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, welcome to the most extravagant extravagancy the human senses can behold. Welcome the star of the Evil Seed Sauce Company's most spectacular sauce on earth. The Evil Seed. You can go to www.evilseedsauces.com www.evilseedsauces.com I've never had this. We're going to try this together. So here's what the ingredients say. Distilled vinegar, jalokia peppers, red habanero peppers, garlic, water, mustard, uh, distilled vinegar, number one mustard seeds, salt, turmeric, and spices. It's got onions. It's got that gum in it, boy. It's got that gum in it, turmeric, salt, black pepper, and cumin. That sounds like all different flavors of love just beating up my mouth and spectacular uh, this freak, your, your, your words of love, Patrick, got me saying crap I don't even need to be saying. Marketing. Artwork. And there he is. There's Patrick. I love his ass. Not literally. I, I really love him. Uh, um, I love the freak show flavor. I love the feel. I love the uh, uh, idea he's capturing with this. Um, I love the cute little sample bottles, man. I would give this a strong 9 out of 10. Just for everything that it stands for. I love the story. I love the all ingredients that's in it. And I love the color of this sauce. So let's go ahead. That's a 9 out of 10. Oh, I love Texas, man. I love hanging out here by myself. My neighbors probably think I'm an idiot. But that's okay. I don't know them. <laughs> they probably don't want to know me. Oh, God, yes. All right, or I'm smelling garlic. All right, garlic, smooth vinegar aroma. I smell the herbs and the spices that are in this thing. The spices. Mmm, looks like a runny type sauce, but a good sauce. I see chunky monkeys of love. Of I think I guess that's the garlic can't see them. Alright, aroma on this. It smells good, Bob. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 on aroma. 7 out of 10 on aroma is a pretty good score for aroma. Uh, flavor. This would be a good this would be good on scrambled eggs with cheese or just eggs over medium in general when you want to dip your toast uh, uh, it's a it's a vinegar based sauce vinegar is is more on the on the forefront than it is on the back end of the flavor at the same time it gives you a whole bunch of abundance of flavors that actually make it me feel like I would love to use this as almost like a marinating sauce like marinate overnight uh, use this for that um, I would also have to say that this actual sauce in general would be good for almost anything it's very universal on heat I would give this a I would give it a 5 out of 10 on heat it's, it's hot. It's tacking the tongue. On flavor, though, I would give it a 7 out of 10. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But this would be good for marinating chicken. Oh, my gosh. That would be good. 
All around product, dude, for the Circus de Nor Freak Show of Flavor, I give them a strong 7 out of 10 on this product, man. This is Bishop Brad coming to y'all in another taste review, Evil Seed Sauce style. You can go to evilseedsauces.com, evilseedsauces.com. Check them out. Much love. This is Bishop Brad. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.